Happiest Season is a really heartwarming Christmas story about two women who are very much in love. To my parents' house for Christmas. Abby, you and Harper have a perfect relationship. This is very old-fashioned, but I'm going to ask our dad for his blessing and propose on Christmas morning. Way to stick it to the patriarchy. Really well done. Happiest Season just felt like a great opportunity to tell a universal story from a new perspective. I have always been a big fan of holiday movies, but I had never mm -hmm. seen my experience represented. There's something that we should talk about. <laughs> I didn't tell my parents I'm gay. So who do they think I am? This is Harper's orphan friend, Abby. Yes, of course. They're there. You're so brave. <laughs> you don't need to be. In many ways, it's just a great traditional holiday movie, and in other ways, is a little bit groundbreaking because <laughs> there's never been a holiday movie with two women who are in love at the center of it. If there was ever an LGBTQ character in a movie, they were always in the background, if they were there at all. Just be yourself. But don't lie. You're a bad liar. Really? Harper. This is Abby. Abby is my orphan. <laughs> Roommate, we. I am an orphan, but we live together as friends, um, like acquaintances. Oh, please stop. Yeah. Having mainstream classics about a love story like this is so important. I think any gay woman over the age of 20 years old right now has probably dealt with not being able to be honest about who you are, being with someone who's not quite ready to be honest about who they are. So her parents believe their straight daughter brought home her lesbian friend for Christmas? Not exactly. They also think that I'm straight. Have they ever met a lesbian? In writing the script, we definitely wanted it to be a comedy, but still have a groundedness to it and felt relatable. I can relate to being in love with somebody that is too afraid to show the world who they are. Ah! What are you doing in the closet? It'll mean a lot to a lot of people out there. I think there's a lot of people who have not seen themselves represented in holiday films like this. I am scared that if I tell them who I really am, I will lose them. Do you know how painful it's been to watch the person that I love hide me? I am not hiding you, I am hiding me. We live in a diverse world. We need much more love and tolerance and acceptance. This movie is all about that. It's really exciting being a part of this. It's time that our mainstream films reflected more accurately what society actually looks like. This movie was made with a tremendous amount of love and heart. Everybody's story is different. Just because Harper isn't ready doesn't mean she doesn't love you. I really hope that the people who watch it can feel how much we thought of them and how much we cared about them while we were putting this movie together. I really hope that it's a welcome addition to the, to the holiday canon of, of movies that people watch year after year. Christian Stewart was once a stripper. By the time she was 18, Christian had appeared in almost 20 films. It was around this time she starred in Welcome to the Rileys, which told the story of a troubled teen who became a stripper. To prepare for her role, Stewart became a regular at a strip club in New Orleans, even going as far as to start pole dancing there herself. Talk about commitment to the role. Now remember to click here to subscribe and tap the notification bell to always receive the latest trailers.